I was reluctant to start the interview this way, but given how our past few conversations have started, I only felt it would be appropriate. I've known you for a few years now. I can see it in your face. I could see it in the off season, and I can see it now. Are you happy? Yeah, I mean, um, uh, right now it just, you know, there's been some ups and downs. Um, but overall, I think uh, the things that, that have gone on, the things that have gone on, I mean, I've put them in the, in the back of my mind and I've, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've put those things on the shelf. And, you know, when I go out there on the field, I try to have fun. But, uh, yeah, overall, I, I, was, I would say that I'm, I'm pretty happy. Enjoying the season? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, the record it really doesn't indicate, you know, the caliber of team that we are. But, uh, you know, we're just maybe just a few plays here and there from – from really just being like uh, what six and one, something like that. But uh, you know, we really got our butts whooped uh, down in Dallas. So I think that's the only real whooping that we took. So uh, at this stage, you know, we're four and three, about to go into the uh, you know division play, you know division uh, teams that we play each year, and that's the the Redskins, the the Giants, and uh, and the Cowboys. So we got those guys coming up. So uh, you know, we're still in the hunt. You seem to have gone from enjoying the media attention, the hype, the craze, to completely secluding yourself from it. Why? Well, it's it's almost as, uh, it's almost like I'm in a no-win situation with the media sometimes. So, uh, you know, I just felt like in, 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 instead of just really just you know giving them something to talk about every week, or you know them uh, grabbing comments from interviews and misconstruing them, and, and and everybody getting sound bites, and you know I know how I know how the media is. I know how TV works. You know they throw a question out there and they edit it. You know the way they you know want to put it out there. You know to the to the world. So uh, you know my thing is you know I just let my play do the talking for me, and um, you know that's been my stance this year. What's the biggest difference between the Terrell Owens now and the Terrell Owens of one year ago? Well, obviously, in my in, in my situation, um, the quarterback is obviously uh, a big part of my success, you know, and I think, uh, and, and it goes hand in hand, you know. Um, obviously, a, a quarterback um, that has the weapons that, like Donovan has with this team, with me, LJ, and, 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 and Brian Westbrook, Obviously, that, that helps him to be a better quarterback. And, you know, it's just the same with the running backs. You know, in order for those guys to, to, to get through the line and, and, and make guys miss, then, you know, those the, the safeties in the corners, you know, they have to they have to you know pay attention to us you know what I mean if they're in the box if we're if we're not effective on the outside then obviously those those linebackers those safeties are going to you know get in the box and the running backs are not going to have too much room to run so it kind of works hand in hand what's your relationship like with your teammates I mean we have fun you know every day uh it's it's interesting you know some guys um you know they do other things Training room guys. I mean, from 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 players to training room, uh, tr to the training room staff. You know, we have a lot of fun doing just different games in there. Even with rehab, you know, there are a lot of games that that we play that are competitive, but it you know it it coincides with our rehab. And the same with uh with with a lot of guys on the team. You know, with a lot of guys sit in the back in the lounge. Uh, they play Halo. Um, uh, me and G. Lewis who, and Hank Fraley, we play dominoes. So a lot of guys do a lot of different things. Why do you think there were some that were not as supportive of you? Thing you said or done over the past year that you regret? No, not at all. I think the thing is, um, I know uh, deep down in, 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 inside that I've always been honest and I've been truthful uh, about the things that I've said. So. Um, you know, like the the saying goes, sometimes the truth hurts, and a lot of people don't like to hear the truth. So, um, long as I'm honest with myself, and um, you know, I can live with it. You just said that following last year's Super Bowl, you obviously said you weren't the only one that, or you weren't the one that got tired in referring to Donovan McNabb. Do you think your honesty becomes detrimental at times? No, not at all. <laughs> I think with that comment, I said it probably in regards to, to my own conditioning because I hadn't, um, you know, practiced with the team, you know, since my injury. Um, I never referred to Donovan uh, 
in that comment. A lot of people speculated and they just assumed that I was talking about Donovan. So that's not what I mean and that's not what I meant. So a lot of people, you know, take a lot of things that I say out of context. If I didn't say his name in particular, then that's who I, I wasn't talking about him. And that's why then you're reluctant to do some of the interviews because people exactly. take things out of context. What was it like for you playing in the Super Bowl last year? I mean, I think uh, what I was doing and what I experienced was bigger than the Super Bowl. Um, number one, I was really just exercising my faith in God that I could go out there and, and, and do the impossible, you know, uh, according to a lot of the media, according to the world. Um, but I had a lot of people that, that supported me and I had a lot of confidence that, that I was doing the right thing. Um, I know my body, you know, better than anything, better than anybody. So um, my thing is, you know, uh, the doctors that it, the doctor that performed my, my, my surgery, he didn't medically clear me. But despite all that, you know, I still went ahead and went out and played because I knew I was ready to play. Um, although I wasn't 100 percent. I knew I was uh, at, a, at a percentile that I could go out there and, and be effective. What was it like for you going out there on Super Bowl Sunday? I mean, it was fun. You know, I, I've always envisioned myself since I was in San Francisco um, of a moment, you know, that I, that I played in the Super Bowl. So it was almost like I had been there before because I've always kind of like played it in my mind before. You know, I've been to, uh, to Super Bowls before. I never, never has gone, I never gone to the game. Um, but I've always been there in that atmosphere. So I've always said, you know, if I ever get that moment, you know, that I was going to try to shine and, you know, I was going to try to play to, play to the best of my ability. You did all right. I mean, I didn't do bad. Like I said, I felt like I probably could have been a little bit more effective had I been 100% healthy. You've never won a championship at any level, not in high school, not in college, not yet in the NFL. What was it like to be that close versus the Patriots? Um... It, it was it was an interesting feeling. Uh, it was very exciting. Um, you know, after it was over, it's just you know, after playing nine years in the league, you know, some guys have played this game all their life and they've never gotten to that point. So, you know, um, you know, I just I, I didn't take it for granted. Um, you know, I, I felt like I did whatever uh, whatever I could do. You know, I left it on the field. I played hard. Um, you know, we just came up short, you know, and I think there were opportunities that we had to, to win the ball game. And, you know, we, uh, we played a great team and a great team beat us. And so, uh, you know, I don't feel like it was a cakewalk. And, you know, we, we, we kind of we took it to the wire with them. Any lasting damage from the injury? No, not at all. Um, you know, I think I've, I've recovered um, from it 100 percent and I spent most of my offseason rehabbing and uh, getting treatment and, and trying to get it back to, to the point where I can perform this year. And so, uh, you know, I haven't had any effects of it. You've told me your first goal is to win the Super Bowl, your second goal is to play in the NBA, and that once, quote, I win the Super Bowl, you may see me on the hardwood. What are your feelings about that now? I mean, I still feel like, you know, there, there's a chance, there's an opportunity. Um, I feel for myself the sky's the limit for me. And I don't let any, any critics, you know, um, throw doubt in my mind about anything that I, that I do. Uh, I feel like I'm a very confident person. And, and if I allow someone to, to creep in my mind and, and steal that away, then, you know, I'll never amount to anything. I, never, I would never have gotten this far.